Hello guys, welcome back to the Breaking Through Ministries channel. Um, my name is William, if you're new here, if you're coming back, then uh, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> so I'm on the go to uh, my 100 subscribers, and I said that I would do something like a giveaway or something like that. So if you want to be a part of that, just hit the subscribe button, go down there and click that little red bar that says subscribe, and click the notification bell, and so you won't miss an upload. So, I was at work last night, and I was just, you know, talking to God, the normal stuff, you know how Christians can do, but I was just thinking about what people go through, spiritually and mentally, and what the weird thing is is well not the weird thing the thing is is you don't really know what someone is going through you really don't and unless you've been in their shoes you never know what they're going through they could be going through a great time in life be be the happiest jolliest thing of like like but there are some people that's going through a rough time and I don't know what it is. It could be a loved one passing. It could be you just losing your job. It could be this. It could be that. Worrying about what this, this, and this. It could be anything. And trust me, I've lost loved ones. And I know how bad it feels to lose somebody. But. Instead of being down. What could you think of? That could change the whole personality. That could change everything. Jesus Christ. Now what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ is the one that gives us peace. Gives us comfort. Give us, give us this. Give us that. But. I want to talk about this for a little bit. Um. If you don't know, my name is William Miller, and if and yeah, for the new subscribers, I. But I've been thinking about it, and I've been praying to God about this, and I really am praying about this. But I think, and I'm praying that this will happen. I'm thinking about starting up a building for a church. I really am. I really am, and I'm already doing what I love to do on YouTube is teaching and preaching the Word of God to all mankind. So, keeping that in mind, I want to read a scripture that started this whole thing off back in 2015 when I actually had my subscribers up to about 50-ish, I think this was. I can't remember. But, the scripture that I've chose... I like this one right here. Uh, is what was it? Okay, two scriptures I chose. One was First Peter. I guess where is it? Is it First Peter, Second Peter? I'm not sure. Uh, Second Timothy one and seven. And this is from the King James at the time. For God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That's one of the scriptures I was talking about when I was growing up. The second one is First Peter, I think. Yes, James. First Peter. Uh. First uh, Peter. Six through, let's go, let's go six through nine. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he will, uh, may uplift you in due time. This is the scripture right here. Cast all your anxieties on him, for because he cares for you. In the King James, it says, cast your cares on him. But, the King James, NIVs, whatever Bible you're using, it means the same thing. 
casting your anxieties upon him. You know me, I've struggled with anxiety for a long time. It's not fun. And this scripture is going to help me get rid of my anxiety. I really believe it. As long as I can remember, cast all my anxieties on him. Or if fear does not come from God, do not be afraid. I can do pretty much anything. But, a little bit of a backstory about me. Uh, this is going to be a deep topic. It's something I don't like talking about. But, I started working at Walmart. And, uh, maybe this will help you if you're having a problem like this. But, I've started working at Walmart in Poto, Oklahoma. If anybody's from Poto, you, uh, see me as well be. Uh, like, I have many followers. But, that's not the case here. Uh, and I've been going through a stressful time. I've been stressing out over things and, uh, dealing with things like that. And I've been there for about four or five months, almost six. And those months was really, really hard for me. Um, I've done some things that I probably would never do. And if it wasn't for God, uh, yeah, I would probably not be here right now. God is the only one keeping me here. And the love for my family. But this dark road, I fell back from God. Uh, I fallen away from Him. And I'm not the only one. The Bible says that we've all come short of the glory of God, but we can always turn around. But I have personally fell away from God. I didn't read my Bible like I should. And the enemy was roaring like a lion, prowling on his territory over my mind, saying that I, I this, I that, blah, blah, blah. And let's just say I'm, I did some things that I wouldn't want to do. Things that you wouldn't think I would have done in my life. I worked at Walmart, and I was throwing freight in the sick in, in pop water and juice aisle, which is aisle 25 at my place, no, but, or 28, my bad, uh, but this is kind of my testimony, I guess, but, uh, I started saying things like, man, I, I wish I, God would just take me home, and like I said, this isn't for the tear jerkers things that yank tears out of you, but I uh, wanted to say this because, say this testimony story to y'all, because if there's someone out there that hears this, don't make the same mistake that I made, really don't, your life is worth much more than that, it is, and uh, And just looking back at it, sorry guys. Looking back at it, I I hated what I did, but I stand here forgiven because I know God's forgiven me for it. But what I did is I was in the pop water juice, and the enemy was just tearing me up. I I started believing the lies of the enemy that God that. Uh, no one loves me, and nobody cares about me. And I just want to tell y'all, if that is you, and you saying that, don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Trust me, that would take you on a road of depression and f anxiety and all this. But what I did is I had to make a little personal business to the men's room. Let's just say that women's room. I don't know what you call it if women's watching this. So I had a box knife in my hand. I took that knife out, and what did I do? I started cutting on my arm. And I don't mean to say this on video, and I, I, I'm fine now, 
don't think I'm not I'm not fine. I am. I God's get yeah, my God's got me through that. But I've tried so hard to be everybody's friend. But there is some things, guys, that that God has put you in the place to just get somebody saved. And guys, if you're on the if you're on this desperate road, if you are on this track of despair, you're thinking your life ain't worth nothing. Don't make the same mistake I did. Because I was on the verge. I had the knife up here to my neck. And now I was going to go. And I was, I was going to end my life. But God's got me through it. And I know he can get you through this too. And if this is anybody that's watching it. I want y'all to know that you are loved. God loves you. He loved, he loved you enough that he sent Jesus down to save you. To get you out of this despair or this depression. But. I'm thankful today. I really am. I really am thankful. Because if it wasn't for God. I would probably be buried six feet under the ground right now. And burning for eternity. I would. I probably would. But thank, thankful for God that he's got my mind straight now. And he's got my mind hooked on him. So I won't have to worry about that. But I want to pray for anybody that's ever felt like that. Because I want you to know that God loves you. And I'm going to read you a scripture that helped me out in this time. And I don't know what this is about. I don't know why God's bringing me to this. But... I just want to tell you this, that that Jesus cares so much about you, that he loves you enough to go to the cross for you, and then we're over here, and if, and this, if this is you, like I said, I... I know now what pe most people go through. I don't know what everybody goes through. But what I'm going to say is this. is In John 3 and 16, it says that, that God loved us enough that he gave us his only son, that whoever will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Now, that's not the scripture I'm going to talk to you about. I want to say this, and I don't know what you're going through, but I just want to tell you that this scripture, from 1 Peter 5 and 7, give all your cares to God. Don't just give your anxieties. Give your depression or whatever it is to God. He knows about it. But I was on this road of despair. So I did not want to open up to nobody. I did not want it. I wanted to bottle it up inside. And it, it just doesn't work like that, guys. You can bottle it up for so long, but then something is going to nudge you to open up. It might be a friend. It might be your closest friend. It might be your family. Or you might need to go seek for professional help, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, don't make the same mistake I did. Don't take it so far where you want to do harm to yourself. Because, it, it's not as easy as you think. It hurts bad. Not physically, but physically and mentally. But, I'm telling you. I started praying. I started seeking God's face. And I started apologizing for what I've done. And now I want to help people to overcome that. If if you feel like your life doesn't matter, it does. It personally does. And this lady, I'm not going to mention names, but she has a book out. You might know her. But she has a little topic about this, about this, and she says your life is matters. 
to God and how you treat people. And I started believing, believing it. I started seeking God's face. Now that's all I want to do: is seek God's face. But I really am praying for y'all. And I'm praying for y'all, and I'm gonna pray for y'all right now because I know this is something that only God can handle. And I know it's kind of weird to do prayer on YouTube, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You might call me a weirdo. People might look at me weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, dear Father God, we come to you this morning, Father God. Uh, Father God, I pray that you would just touch my brothers and sisters in Christ, Father God. Touch the one that is going through a rough time right now. Touch the one that is so drained out by the enemy that they want to do harm to themselves. Because God, we know that that's not what you have planned for us. Lord, I, I ask you that you would just be with those who feel like this, God. Be with those who are struggling with faith and help them build their courage up, Father God, to know that they need you personally. God, I'm thankful that you gave Jesus up to die for my sins and that, that I could go to him as anything that I need, Father God. And I pray that you could show those viewers today the same thing. Lord, we give you the praise and honor for it all, Lord. And thank you for your son, Jesus. In his name, I give this prayer. Amen. So, I hope that prayer encouraged you. I hope my story encouraged you, my testimony. If God can do it for me, guys, I know he can do it for you. I love y'all guys and I I thank y'all. But please before you ever decide that to take your life, don't just sit back and think and this is what I did at times. Think, okay, I can't do this. I need to talk to God. I need to talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Talk to anybody. Don't think that taking your life is your first option. It's not. But I hope this encouraged you. And like I said, talk to anybody. Talk to God. Most importantly, talk to God. Because he's the one that got me out of that situation. And I know he can do the same for you. But, I like I said, I love y'all guys. That's, I know a lot of people think, oh, that's guys loving other guys. No, it's not yeah, it's brotherly love and sisterly love. I want to be there for y'all or that be a friend to those who don't have friends and a brother, a sibling to those who don't have siblings. I want to be there for y'all. And feel free to message me if you want. If you got me on Facebook and you're going through a rough time, I'll try to help you the best I can. DM me on Instagram. I'll try the best to help, to help y'all. But... Alex Miller on Facebook, Alex Miller 2022 on Instagram. I'll leave it down in the description below. But I love y'all guys, and may God bless you like he's blessed me. And I'll see you in my next video.